Hello guys, my name is Shaima. Alright, in this tutorial video, we are going to do a simple TV cabinet design and I'll teach you how to change the edge bending color. Alright, so first things first, you can go to customize and go to storage function. You can scroll down and use this carcass, universal frame cabinet and drag out to the wall. Then you can change the height, okay? Adjust the position first. Here I will adjust it to 2100. Then for the horizontal carcass, you can use this one, universal cabinet, horizontal, and drag out. Okay, so height I will change it to 600. And then the width I'll change it to 2100. Alright, then you can scroll down. You can drag out this universal cabinet without anchor, drag out and snap them side by side. You need to move this cabinet on top here. So you need to adjust this number on the wall. You can open up any calculator. Okay, so my gap here for 216 minus 1200. 1002 is the carcass uh, width. Okay, so you just change here, then the carcass will move to the right. Then you can select the carcass, change the height to 1005, elevation 600, okay, the height from the floor is 600. Then you can select this carcass, right click, you can go to add function part, this one, okay, add function part, you can go to material functional part, go to plate type and choose your panel, I'm using the 18mm panel. You can drag this one for the horizontal panel, drag inside the carcass, and for the vertical, you can use neutral plate, drag down here. Then you can close the library. Then you can select the panel, right click, evenly divide it. Here I'm choosing number 3, so I'll have 3 panels inside. Then for the vertical panel, you can select it and drag it left and right. Okay. Drag the panel left and right to adjust the position or you can open up the calculator. 600 minus 36, 36 is uh, the panel size, 18 times 2 will be 36. So you select the panel, change the number here, 564, then click enter. Alright, then you can install the door panel, okay, you can go to install button up here and go to door plate then select the space on the right side you can choose the door type and then click ok so this is the door next you can go to drawer on top here then select any space choose the drawer model and you can go to customize to divide the drawer number you can go to vertically add one more drawer and then click confirm so you have two drawers here do the same thing on the other side, select the surface, okay, and then choose the drawer model, double click, go to customize, divide vertically, add one more drawer, and click confirm. So this is how it looks like. And one more thing, when you move, you see this one is overlapping, so you can select the drawer, go to the right side, change to partially overlay, and then click confirm. Do the same thing here, select this one, you can adjust the left side, make it partially overlay and then click confirm so it won't overlapping. Alright, then you can exit the installation, exit installation or you can press escape button. Alright, okay, to delete the handles, you can right click on the wall, go to all handle, delete, okay, delete the handles. Based on the image here, you see got a few gap here, small gap between the drawer. Alright, so to adjust the gap, you can press B button. You will see bot selection mode on top here. Then you can select the drawer. Okay, this one you can adjust the height. I make it uh, 200. Okay, height, make it 200. Okay, or you can adjust your own height. Lah. Do the same thing here. Select the drawer and then adjust the height, 200. The bottom drawer also do the same thing. Select, adjust the height, 200. 
this one also select and then change the height to 100 then you see the gap all right then you can press escape exit the bot selection mode select the drawer and hide it press h button to hide select the drawer press h hide all the drawers all right then you can go to the first button and change to component class second button you can go to plate type you can scroll down you can use front riser okay drag it to the front side you need to drag it to the front side okay sometimes it's quite hard to drag so you can try drag a few times okay drag your cursor to the front side then you can adjust the sizing start with the height you can change to the bottom reduce 100 okay bottom reduce 100 with I will extend 2100 then go back to height change to the top this one you can minus 18 mm because our top panel is 18 mm all right then you can go to the depth reduce it and make it here 2 mm make it really thin then you can unhide your drawer go to display material management okay click display show back all your drawers so this is how it looks like all right so the panel will cover the empty space inside the drawer all right based on the image we need to add to the panel at the back so first button you can go to dado module second button you can go to wall bot okay you can scroll down you can use this vertical fluted panel drag it out and snap it to the carcass okay you can adjust the sizing start with the height okay this one you can set to your own preference okay i'll make it around 1002 and then you can change the width the left side okay make sure you adjust the left side first this one i make it 1005 and here you can see the gap between the panel and the carcass you can snap it change the number to zero then click enter then you can adjust the right side okay this one i will extend all the way to the end wall you just add the number you see on the wall okay so it will extend all the way to the end wall all right then you can change all the colors okay now i'll teach you how to change the edge bending color all right so starting with uh the edge bending okay like the image shown here you can press b button first press b bot selection mode select the panel okay then you need to change the panel first okay change the panel style first so select the panel on the right here you can see got style select the box you can go to two color board and go to vertical plate okay vertical plate so this one is a rounded outer rounded panel usually for the standard one we use this one two color neutral plate okay select it and change do the same thing to this side select the panel here you select the style box go to two color board vertical plate and change to two color vertical plate all right then when you select the panel you will see extra button down here where you can choose the reverse material okay you can choose the color select the box let's say i go to solid wood panel choose any color just double click and you will see this side got color okay the outer side got color like the image shown here all right and then for the edge bending you can change the thin edge material and the thick edge material let's say we choose different color lighter color or maybe black color you can see on top here it changes color so this one is for the thin if thick edge bending i choose the same color this one for the front side you can see it changed the color for the front edge bending 
Now you can do the same thing to the left side. Okay, select the left panel. And then you can change the material. Okay, so I will change the edge bending material down here. Thin edge bending for the top. Choose the same color. And then thick edge bending for the front side. Okay, you can see it changed the color. Then for the horizontal panel on top here, this one also you need to change the panel style. So you select the panel, go to style, and then you go to two color board, and you can go to transverse panel. Okay, you can choose uh, down here, you can scroll down, choose a two color roof, this one, two color roof. Then for the bottom panel, you can select and change the style. Go back to two color board, transverse plate. This one you can choose two color base plate. Okay, once you have done, change the panel and you can change the edge bending color. I use the same color, black color. This one I will change the thick edge bending material because I cannot see the thin edge bending. Remember, thick edge bending is the front side for the front side. Okay, do the same thing for the bottom panel. This one I will only change the thick edge bending for the front side only. Okay, once you have done, you can press escape, exit the bot selection mode. To change the carcass color, you can right click on the wall, go to all material, carcass material. Okay, so you can select different color. You see, it changed all the color, including the back panel. So for the back panel, if you want different color, you can select the panel. Okay, select the panel and then change the color inside this setting box here. Material. Choose a different color. Yeah, I'm using, using this one. Okay, example this color. Then you can use Metro Painter, copy paste the color to the other panel. But since it will copy to the whole carcass, so you can press B button first. Press B. Okay. Then you can use Metro Painter. Okay. Metro Painter, copy and paste to the panel. Then press Escape. Okay. Remember, B button will allow you to edit panel by panel, not to the whole carcass. Then you can try edit the top panel here. Okay, so this one you can select and adjust the height. You can minus 18 mm because our panel thickness is 18 mm. So here I will minus it. You can put minus 18. Then click enter. All right. Then select the top panel. You can extend the width another 18 mm. All right. Do the same thing to the left side. Okay, this panel, select, adjust the height, minus 18 mm. Then select the top panel. This one you can minus or you can go to move category. Down here, make it zero. So it will snap to the left side. Okay, that's how you adjust the top panel. Then you can press escape button. Exit the bot selection mode. Then I will go to Metro Painter and copy the color, paste on the door panel. I use the same color to paste on the drawer as well. Then right click to cancel. Okay. And the last step is to add a few accessories inside. You can go to this flower pot button, select any style you like. Here I choose modern style, then click OK. It will add some decoration inside. Okay, then for a TV, you can go to library. Okay, go to library. You can scroll down. Go to electrical. Okay, electrical. Then go to household appliances. Here you can see got TV model. Okay, TV model. You can drag any TV model to the wall. Then you can adjust the position. 
Okay, here you can adjust the sizing. Okay, you can also untick proportional button here to adjust the size one by one. All right, so this is the final look. Okay, I guess you guys can try out yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe our channel. Bye bye.